Hey there, I'm Chris Sev with Sourcecraft, and today we will be talking about creating custom commands with Kodi. So there's a lot of times when you're using Kodi, and let's say I highlight this code right here, and I'll type in option K to edit this code, and I'll say add in some documentation. So you could do this. There's also an actual dedicated documentation command, but I want to show you something that I personally do with my setup, and this requires a custom command. So we have this edit here, adds a nice doc block. That's very useful for a lot of use cases, but for me, I kind of like using a different approach. So I could also click Cody here and say document code, and that would kind of do the same thing. And I'll undo here. But for me, especially with a piece of code like this, I kind of like to say document line by line. So. What I'm gonna say here is I'm going to go open Kodi on the sidebar. I'm going to click custom commands and let's create a custom command here. Let me zoom in. I'll say new custom command and I'll say document. And when you're creating these custom commands, you don't wanna add a space because that doesn't really count uh, as valid. So I'm gonna say dash important lines. So for this command, I'm gonna say add code comments but I'm gonna say don't just add a doc block at the top, document the important lines. So I'll click enter here. And now this is where you get to customize how you create your custom command. You can change the context that you wanna to give to each command. So here I could say only the selected code is what you should look at when you're applying this custom command. You can look at the whole current directory, the first 10 text files, current open tabs, command output, or none, I'm gonna stick with selected code because that's all I really wanna document. I'll click OK here, and you can save this on a workspace level or at your user settings level, I'll do user. And there we go, we have our custom command here. So there's a couple ways to access that. You could right click here, go to the Kodi submenu, and then click custom commands, and then say document important lines. And now that'll open up a chat window with Cody. And notice how the documentation is a little different than what the document command did or the other edit command that I ran did. So I think this has a really good place in certain scenarios, especially when the code kind of looks like this, not the most readable. So I'm going to copy all of this and I can click copy here or I can go over here and copy or I can just insert directly into the code. So I can insert directly into the code. So that's our first custom command that I wanna look at. Oh, it looks like the other update model is still here. That's what the error is throwing, so I'll delete that one. And there is our new update model with important lines documented. The next custom command I wanna look at, and we're just doing this, it's a very similar process, but this is just kind of repetition so you can see more of the custom command creation. Let's say I wanted to convert this React component over to a view component. So let's go and create a custom command here. I'll say custom commands, new custom command, and I'll call this react to view. Or if you want to prefix this, convert react to view. That way, if you have a, like a lot of convert uh, custom commands, you can prefix them so you can see them all in the list. And I'll say convert the react component to a view component. Maintain functionality and provide documentation on the conversion. Now, when you create these, you want to provide the right amount of guidance, and that takes a little bit of experimentation. So let's see if this one will work. I'll say the selected code. I don't need any of the other ones. And I'll save it to user settings again. All right, so that's been saved. That looks good there. And I'm just going to highlight the whole piece of code the whole file, and I'm gonna right click here, Kodi, and go to custom commands, and I'll do convert react to view. And that opens up a chat window right here. And that's using Claude 3 Opus. So let's see how it does of converting this whole react component over. It looks like it's getting the template, that looks good. Passing in the props to the chat column header correctly. Kept all of my Tailwind styles, so that's good. Started using the vLS, vIf, the directives that view has. 
properly converted my uh, React map to a V4. So you can see how this custom command is really useful, especially if you have to do this a lot of different times in your code base. All right, it's got the script, it's got TypeScript as well, it's got props. All right, things are looking good. It has the update model function that we just documented. So what I'm seeing here on this one is that it didn't really do a lot of documentation. So what I would have to go and do is update my custom command. So I'm gonna go and close this. I'll go here, click custom commands, and I'll click configure custom commands, and then I'll open my user settings. So this is where you can see all of the previous custom commands that you've created. And down here, convert the React component to a view component, maintain functionality, which it did just fine, but it didn't really provide documentation on the conversion. Uh, make sure to insert documentation in the JavaScript for any, let's say, functions or hard to understand areas. So let's try that. I'll select the entire thing again, right click Kodi, custom commands, convert React to view. So let's see if it does any better with adding those comments that we asked for. And this is where that experimentation comes in. You just have to kind of mess around with your custom command and change out your prompt and see if it works. And as with a lot of things in AI these days. All right, it actually took a different approach. It went for the not functional way. Or is that the functional way? I'm confused with view these days. But um, it looks like it did add the code comments, but it took a different approach. So maybe in my next iteration, I would say, hey, maybe use the uh, composition API instead of the functional approach. I forget what the two are. <laughs> but uh, hopefully that helps you with your custom commands and messing around with those. And go ahead and create as many as you need to uh, help simplify your workflows. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.